so scared right now. This was a bad idea. How was it? Was it fun? Okay. Uh, day two, we just woke up. Feelings from day one, nothing really. No soreness. I thought my quads would feel it this morning. Nothing in the quads. We'll see later later in the day if uh, some soreness comes, but uh, we're gonna move around a little bit and uh, get ready for that clean and jerk later today. Going to day two, Adler's placed 12th overall. And here's his opportunity to make up some ground. The only event that's programmed today is a one rep max clean and jerk. What's the plan? The plan is uh, to go at the pool and then the... Uh... Which pool? Top pool, bottom know. pool? I don't know. What's happening now that's super exciting? Waiting for the food. <laughs> they're trying to psych themselves up because they're both pissed about their placement right now. We both suck. Yeah. Would you prefer if there are more workouts during the day if you were busier? A little bit. Today was long. <laughs> Yesterday was long. Today is long. It sucks to be 15. There you go. I suck. I want to be 15. Alex knows he can do better on all the next wads. So he's going to destroy them and try and PR tonight. Jeff is not so sure if he's going to do <laughs> all the other workouts. So we're about to go for event four. Um, kind of stay chilled all day. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, he got kind of down on himself. So he's been good mood, bad mood all day. Um, really disappointed where, with where he's standing right now on, on the leaderboard, he's 15. But I think it's really hard when he knows how much he trains and how good he wants to be. And that's not reflected. That's so what we're hoping for, that the clean and jerk event will go well. It's usually one of his strengths. I don't know about him. I know for me, it's making me really nervous because we have to rely on it so much to do well this weekend. We were hoping that he would be in top 10 by the end of day one. He's not. This is day two. We only have one event today to bring him back up to the top 10. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous. And I'm gonna be pretty nervous when he's on the competition floor. So hopefully it goes well. We'll see. Seven. What time do you lift? Seven. I think what I think 167 is gonna be top three. Yeah. Already. And then I'm gonna try 169 and 170. And then Tola is gonna do 171. <laughs> he said his he, max was 390. So he might he's not gonna open with that. He's not opening with that. He's gonna open with 165 or 170. And then wait. Team competition is done. Individual action is coming up next as they take on individual event number four, the one rep max clean and jerk. We, you know, it's funny. Some of the weights that they said they had available, some of these guys can lift more than the weight that they would actually have to have out there. So stay tuned because the big weights are coming up next. So day two is the big one rep max clean and jerk workout. The fan favorite the athlete favorite workout. Athletes are gonna get three attempts at lifting their heaviest load. About 30 to 40 minutes before he lifts, and we're starting to get ready. Individual men are taking the floor for the first time and the final time for day number two of competition. And as we look at some of the athletes coming in, Jeffrey Adler, yeah. based off his maxes and just based off the year that he's had so far so early because that's one of those up-and-coming athletes that is 
kind of grew up with this competition as well, like we saw with Gabriel Magala. Well, and he has a very unique, uh, a very similar story to someone like Noel Olson, who has been here to be uh, a, a volunteer and, hey, one of these days I'm going to be down here competing. And here he has just this last year has been unreal. And he is a strong athlete, and I hope that he is on the floor today with the confidence of, I'm going to show you something big. So I'm really looking forward to see what he can do. Speed of something big. Tola Marquinho. It's kind of strong. Kind of strong. It's kind of strong. Coming in with a lifted clean and jerk max at 175. I think he still holds the heaviest snatch in live competition in yeah. CrossFit. Both of them come in as a listed clean and jerk heavier than what Evan Morris put up at 161. The lone event on day two was simple. Lift, heavy. Athletes would have three separate windows to move as much weight as possible and find a one rep max clean and jerk under the lights of the tennis stadium. And this is Jeffrey Adler. I tell you what, when you're talking about clean and jerks, this guy put on one of the most dominating performances in the open yeah. with that 20.4 that had clean and jerks in it. Yes, he may be the new kid on the block, but you have veterans that talk very highly oh, yeah. of his ability. You know, we're saying open performance is maybe the best we've ever seen. Pat Vellner was actually the one that really voiced that opinion along with that. So yeah. he has a lot of respect from his fellow fellow athletes. And this is what I like to see. 162 on the bar. You know exactly what the best score is to beat. Tola. Wow. I'll okay. tell you what, if you can power clean and push look like that, I'm just going to shut my mic off for the rest of the heat. Again, I, I want to see Tola. I want him to see something big. This is his event to go crazy. Did he just add weight in the middle of a set? Oh, my goodness. Now, he did have those. He had those on either side. I thought he was going to make the... Okay. Okay. That probably is the most big boy move I have ever seen <laughs> in a CrossFit competition. Jeffrey Adler, who just saw his two kilo lead disappear in 30 seconds from Tola Marquino, who got 170. He's moved up to 167. Oh, yeah. And Adler that will get a cool nice. 167. So that should be a personal best. So yep. 173 on the bar for Tola Marquino. His best coming in was 175. Oh, my God. Much easier power clean than he had on the 170 and a smooth push trick over had Tola Moraquino wow. putting on a show here in heat number two. Jeffrey Adler successful at 167 has 171 on the bar and if he can get this overhead this would be big for Adler who's sitting in 15th. Oh, oh wow that save. is a good fight. Jeff Adler at wow. 171. I like that lift by Jeff Adler. That could be big for Adler, who is sitting five spots out of the top ten, but now sitting in second overall behind Tola Marquino. At Adler comes up and he hits 171 kilograms, which is only two kilos less than Tola Marquino, who has the record for the heaviest clean and jerk in CrossFit Games competition. I would never look at him and be like, you're one of the strong guys. Right. But guess what? You're one of the strong guys. And, and that's kind of boating to Adler's ability is that he wasn't, you know, Tola is the strong guy. Yeah. He's obviously. really good at it. He's, he, and he's got some great skill sets totally. too. But when you talk about overall great CrossFitters, Jeffrey Adler has proven to be one of those guys. But to put yourself in the second with 171 behind Tola's 173. You don't see an engine guy with the strong guys. And we just saw that. Just to put that in perspective, the third place athlete in this competition hit a 161 kilo clean and jerk. So Adler has 10 kilos more than the third place athlete. In fact, he could have stopped at a second lift and still play second place overall. A new personal record and his best finish so far would be just what Adler needed to get back in the hunt for the podium. In just one event, Adler catapulted up seven spots back into the top 10 and close the second day of competition in fifth place overall. Now we're gonna be going into day three with three scored events in the Tadius and in the tennis stadium for some classic CrossFit competition. Yeah. That'll wrap up individual and team competition for day number two. But the good news for us is that we have two more days to showcase all the talents of these individuals and teams. We'll see you guys tomorrow.